video is all about multiple covalent bonds and how we draw them in dot and cross form. So it's going to be another dot and cross session. Um, today we're going to look at the examples of nitrogen, N2, and carbon dioxide, which is CO2, to check your understanding. The first example we're going to look at today is carbon dioxide. And the first thing we're going to do is draw out the outer electronic configurations for the carbon and two oxygens. Remember the same rules apply. So the atom that I've got one of is the one that I'm going to put in the middle. So in this case, the carbon goes in the middle, surrounded by the two oxygens. Let's do this just like we did last time with them sharing one pair of electrons. In each one of the gaps, I'm going to draw one cross and one dot, showing that they've shared a pair. If I add on all of the extra electrons, so carbon has four in total in its outer shell and oxygen has six in total in its outer shell, you might be able to see that I still have a problem. If I count how many electrons are in the outer shell of an oxygen, you can see I've only got seven. It's even worse if you look at the carbon. If you look at the carbon, that's only got six. None of these atoms have managed to get a full outer shell by sharing electrons, which is a really big problem. So how do we solve this? The way we solve it is we form what we call multiple bonds, which is normally a double or a triple bond, which essentially just means that they need to share more electrons. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an extra dot and an extra cross in each one of these shared regions. Now make sure that you don't create dots and crosses. If I put extra ones in there, I have to take them from the outer shells. Let's count the electrons up now. What we've now got is we've got eight electrons on the outer shell of the oxygen, eight on the carbon, and eight on the other oxygen. So, everything's now happy, and this is the structure of carbon dioxide. Just one more example for you today. Let's check out nitrogen, N2, which is another covalent compound that does have multiple bonds. The way that you could work this out is you draw out nitrogen. It has got five electrons in its outer shell. The next stage is that you draw them overlapping so that you've got a shared pair of electrons, one from one nitrogen, one from the other nitrogen. If you count those electrons now, you should be able to see that the nitrogens only have six electrons in their outer shell. That is not enough. The way that you solve that problem is that you share more electrons. So I'm going to take another one electron from the outer shell of one nitrogen and another one electron from the outer shell of the other nitrogen and put them into the center. If I count this now, they've still only got seven electrons in their outer shell. It's still not a full eight, and that's a problem. The answer, share more electrons. So you take another dot from the outer shell of the nitrogen and another cross from the outer shell of the other nitrogen, and you put them in the center. What this now makes is it makes two nitrogens that both have eight electrons in their outer shell, which is all good. This is what we call a triple bond because there are three shared pairs of electrons in that central region. The way we show that sometimes is like this. Other examples that you should be able to do include oxygen, which is O2, and ethene, which is C2H4, which is a little bit more complicated. Give them a go and then check out the answers in your book.